Welcome into another edition of Today in the NA. I am Vinny Paraselli. We've got another good one in store for you today, so let's jump right into it with the latest commitments coming out of the NAHL. First, we have Vincent Corcoran of the Wichita Falls Warriors. He is committed to Bemidji State University. The defenseman from Plainfield, Illinois, has three goals and 14 points through 16 games this season. It's his third year in the league and second with Wichita Falls. In his 122-game career, Corcoran has 12 goals and 56 points. Then we've got Dylan Wegner of the Maryland Black Bears, who has committed to Michigan State University. From Nashville, Tennessee, Wegner has logged three goals and seven points through 16 games this year. Let's go around the league and take a look at where we stand about one-third of the way through the season. In the center, the Bulls have a one-point lead over Austin for first place. Aberdeen and Minot occupy the third and fourth place spots. While St. Cloud sits just outside the playoff picture at the moment, and Bismarck is in the basement. Out east, the Maryland Black Bears and New Jersey Titans are tied atop the division with 31 points. New Jersey has won nine of their last ten to get to this point. Johnstown and Northeast are tied for third with 20 points, while Jamestown, Maine, and Danbury all sit outside of the postseason picture at the moment. In the Midwest, it's a log jam at the top of the standings as Fairbanks and Springfield have identical records. Anchorage is just two points back with three games in hand. Chippewa sits in fourth as they have won seven of their last ten. Two Minnesota teams sit at fifth and sixth place in the division. Janesville has won four in a row, they sit in seventh. Kenai River is in eighth. The South Division is a mess with five teams separated by just four points. Currently, Odessa has a one-point lead over Amarillo. New Mexico, Lone Star, and Wichita Falls are all right behind them with 23, 22, and 21 points, respectively. Corpus Christi and El Paso are in 6th and 7th, while the defending champion Shreveport Mudbugs sit in last place 16 games into the season. Now we'll move on to our fundraiser with the Children of Fallen Patriots Foundation. At the time of this recording, the league and its teams have raised just over $15,000. The New Mexico Ice Wolves, Fairbanks Ice Dogs, and Northeast Generals are the top teams followed up by Johnstown, St. Cloud, Jamestown, Aberdeen, Anchorage, Chippewa, and the Minnesota Magicians. If you'd like to help out, scan the QR code on your screen or use the link in the description to go over to our campaign page. We've got one series to watch out for this week and it's Fairbanks visiting Anchorage for the first ever series between these two clubs. Anchorage trails Fairbanks by two points in the Midwest Division standings. The Wolverines have won three in a row and are led by the NHL's leading goal scorer, Talon Sigurdsson. He has 16 goals and 23 points on the season so far. The Ice Dogs are 5-5 five five in their last 10 games and are led by Alexander Malinowski, who has 25 points through 21 games this year. You can watch games this weekend on Hockey TV, follow the league on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube, and be sure to log on to NHL.com for the most up-to-date scores and standings. We'll be off next week, so enjoy your Thanksgiving with friends and family, and we'll see you in two weeks here on Today in the NA.